Welcome to Nereshai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In this uh, video, I am going to be talk about how many ways can we load dot class file in Java language. Our topic is how many ways can we load dot class file in Java. There are mainly seven ways to load the dot class file in Java language. The first one is by using development tool. What is the development tool? Java development tool and uh, some other development tools also we used Java development tool, some other tools. Those other tools also comes under development tools only. Next one, we can load dot class file by calling by calling static variables and methods by calling static variables and methods of a particular class and also we can load by using object creation and the fourth one is we can load by reflection api by using by using reflection api and the next one is we can load a dot class file by using class name dot class name dot class and one more way that is inheritance by using inheritance concept the last one is by using by using deserialization deserialization serialization so totally we have seven ways to load the dot class file now let me talk about uh, the first one is why java or uh, how dot class file is loading by the java development tool now here we have a development tools a lot of development tools in java language like uh, java java p java w java ws java rmi java doc all these are what uh, development tools by using these development tools we can load dot class file now uh, the first uh, concept is how to load dot class file by using uh, java command or java development tool so let me take first one notepad here i'm taking one notepad in the notepad i'm typing one uh, small program like uh, public uh, class loading public class loading now here i'm taking one uh, method public static void main string uh, string dot dot uh, r now here i'm writing like uh, system dot out dot uh, println main method simply one user understandable message i mentioned now here i'm taking one block static block so in the previous videos already i talked about the static block uh, meanwhile of dot class file loading from uh, secondary memory to primary memory by the jvm automatically static blocks are going to be loaded and, and initialized uh, with the phases of what here static loading phase and uh, static initialization phase now here i'm writing one user friendly message that is system dot uh, out dot uh, println system dot out dot println here static block so two user friendly messages i'm writing after that i'm saving this dot class file or dot java file by using the file name like what loading dot java now if you want to compile the program what should we do by using java c command we can compile java c loading dot java yes my dot java file is successfully compiled after that i'm using I'm using command like what Java. So whenever we writing Java after that class name, automatically Java is communicating with what JVM. JVM will communicating with loading dot class file. Communicating with the loading dot class file is nothing but bringing their loading uh, loading dot class file from secondary memory to primary memory. Now observe here loading or not? Yes. 
if the class file is not loading static blocks are not executed as well as main method is not executed but here we are getting the output like what static block as well as main method so with the help of the java command we can load static blocks as well as what uh, main method nothing but we can load dot class file that is the first one now one more point i am telling here uh, observe I am highlighting like by using Java development tool and other tools and here other tools nothing but these are also what development tool also these are all what development tools. So, what are these all development tools again Java C, Java P, Java W, Java WS all these are what here development tools again. Now, whenever we compile the program like Java C loading that Java. So, Java C internally communicating with a lot of dot class files internally loading lot of dot class files. Now, let me highlighting those uh, dot class files Java C hyphen verbose loading dot uh, Java loading dot uh, Java observe here lot of dot class files are loading by the uh, compiler C care sequence dot class file comparable dot class file flushable dot class file output stream dot class file and a lot of lot of dot class files a compiler is going to be loading integer dot class file double boolean wide. So, internally Java P is also loading what dot class file Java P and as well as Java C Java C here I am highlighting the program like Java C. Now, Java P is also loading Java P is also loading dot class file Java P Java P loading. Java P loading then what happen here Java P will read dot class file loading dot class file and finally, it will converting what dot class file contains byte code that byte code will be converted into source code and finally, it will display on the where console. So, with the help of the Java with the help of the Java C and with the help of the Java P we can load dot class file. Now, let me highlight uh, most of the people feels like uh, we can execute the program with the help of only Java command. No, we can execute the program with the help of the Java W also. Now, for giving this explanation uh, about Java W, uh, let me write uh, some other code. Now, here I am importing some statements, here I am writing one uh, I was I was streams related uh, program import Java dot I was dot uh, asterisk after that here I am taking one uh, method main method here I am writing like uh, throws uh, exception here our intention is what is throws exception what is import statement here our intention is not like that your intention is what whether we can executing the Java program with the help of the Java W command or not or we, whether we can load whether we can load dot class file by using the Java W command or not that is our intention our uh, intention not like uh, uh, what is exception what is stream what is uh, print stream not like this. Now, here I am taking one uh, file output stream class file output stream s f o s f o s equal to new file output stream new file output stream and here I am taking one within the double quotes s dot txt how to write the I O programming pro I O related programs we will see in coming videos ok. Now, after that here I am writing like a print stream print stream p s equal to new print stream. Now, this print stream is communicating with what f o s this is what print stream ok. Now, I am writing p s dot print ln s we can execute s we can execute. Now, like this I have a small program now I am saving this program. So, here observe let me compile again if you want to compile the program again we can go for what here java c and uh, what is that loading loading dot java yes observe here successfully my file was compiled now java w now java w observe here i do not have any s dot txt file in this uh, desktop now now let me execute java w java w loading yes now I am not getting any output on the console, but uh, let me check 
yes on top of the desktop we have one file that file name is what s dot txt that file name is what s dot txt so finally we are getting the output like what we can execute that means with the help of the java command with the help of the java w command and with the help of the java c and with the help of the java p we can load dot class files so that is the first one how to load the dot class file in the java language the first one is by using development tool and other development tools so now now here we can write other development tools is nothing but what java java c java p java w so like this we have multiple development tools now the second one is how to load the dot class file by using static variables and static method static variables and uh, static methods very simple guys let me take the same program but i don't want to use the uh, old code just uh, let me delete all this code now uh, simply i am avoiding all this code now observe guys here i have one program in this program i am just uh, cut the static data and finally i am deleting the static data also now i am taking one more notepad yes i am taking in this notepad i am writing one uh, a class like a demo in this uh, class i am writing one uh, static block that class name now i am saving with the what uh, demo dot java all files and finally i save it so here i taken two dot java files one is demo dot java and other one is what uh, loading dot java now in the loading dot java i am just calling demo or simply we can say like this let me take uh, system dot out dot println demo dot a demo dot a now we don't have any a variable in the demo class now what i'm doing just uh, i'm taking one variable static int a equal to what uh, triple one now let me execute this program java c loading dot java then what happened loading dot class file Do loading dot java file successfully compiled after that what i'm writing java loading whenever we writing java loading what happen it will executing like it will showing like a static block let me give more flexible output here static block b class now here i'm writing like java c just i'm compile the program like uh, java c demo dot java after that i'm compiling loading dot uh, java file loading dot uh, java file yes successfully compile after that uh, java loading then what i'm getting static block b that means b is going to be loading or not so static block b means here instead of b our class name is what uh, demo na so let me take demo here now java c demo dot java and uh, java c loading dot java and uh, java loading then what we are getting static block uh, demo that means by calling the static variable by calling the other class static variable we can load that uh, dot class file not only static variables but also what uh, static methods now static void m1 method so here i'm giving some user friendly messages like uh, static uh, so here i'm writing one user friendly syntax that is what uh, system dot out dot println here i'm writing static uh, static m1 method i am writing static uh, m1 method and save it so once we save definitely we are going to be what uh, updating that uh, byte code if you want to update the byte code definitely what should we do we need to compile the program again after that java c loading dot uh, before compile the program let me go for loading so in this time i am not calling the variable i just commented that one in this time what i am doing demo dot uh, m1 method demo dot m1 method now what have been observed here java c uh, loading dot java yes successfully compile after that what i am doing after that i am loading that uh, dot java file i am loading that dot class file java loading then what have been static block demo and static m1 method will be printed that means we can load other class dot class file other uh, dot class file by using uh, calling other class static variables as well as calling other class uh, static methods up to now we did learn only two things 
uh, only two things that is what uh, by using java and the remaining development tools we can load the dot class file and second one is what by calling static variables and uh, static methods and uh, the third one is how to create an object and uh, we can say like this uh, we can load we can load dot class file by using what here object creation by using object creation how can we do like this very simple guys uh, let me delete uh, all this stuff yes uh, first uh, let me go for demo in the demo what i am doing just uh, i am deleting the m1 method i am deleting what here this uh, static variable also i have only static block system dot out dot print and static block demo now by creating an object we can load the dot class file how observe now simply i am creating new demo new demo means what this is one uh, unreferenced object or anonymous object or unused object different terminology we have but um, the pure technical terminology is unreferenced object creation so whenever we creating an object what happen dot class file is going to be loading which dot class file demo dot class file loading as usual you guys know uh, this concept in the last video like uh, whenever we loading dot class file all the static data is going to be loading now observe here i'm um, just uh, compile the program like java c demo dot java and after that uh, java c loading dot java and finally java loading then we are getting uh, one output like a static block demo that means with the help of object creation also we can load other class uh, we can load dot class file understand or not so totally we have seven ways among the seven ways uh, how many ways i did completed only three ways one is by using development tools second one is by using the class name and third one is what uh, by using object creation in the next video i'm going to be talk about uh, how to load dot class file by using some methods uh, related to reflection api and as well as uh, class name dot class and as well as uh, inheritance concept i hope you enjoyed this video thank you